All right, I'm on hole number five of the Glen Monarch Cup, and this is exactly what I'm talking about here. The most of the group here is pretty much on track. This person's ahead one. Um, most of the people are going to be on track for a minus nine, minus ten. You may, you know, there's going to be some 11s and 12s in there. People will pick some stuff up, but it's if you just go out there and play this course, you're looking at minus nine. But almost every hole has an opportunity to pick one up, and so you take nine holes. Somebody picks up half of them. You know, that's four or five holes that nine goes to 13 or 14 and so I think in the weekend round you're gonna see 14 15 18 you're gonna see somebody that came out and absolutely snapped off a, a round and in these nine hole cups I know the last nine hole cup I won the, the Southern Pines nine hole cup and I came out and that day I was on fire so that's what it'll take in the weekend round. So if you're not picking up everything in your qualifying round, don't sweat it too much. Okay, on this hole right here, I'm absolutely going for broke. I would do the layup shot up here or the layup shot down here. If you go here, bring backspin clubs. If you go here, stay the heck away from that. Just get up on the green. You did a layup. Get up on the green, get your birdie, and go on to the next hole. Um, I'm doing a max overpower hook shot from over here. And I'm going to bring an extra mile and a katana. And the goal here is to try and get all of it. Now, yesterday in the practice round, I didn't get all of it in this account, and I got over nicely. In my main account, I got it all, and I didn't get over nicely. I ended up in the rough, overshooting it. So I moved it. I ended up in the drink, and I moved it over about a quarter of a ring, and I still ended up clipping that rough and ended up in the drink and tried it again, and I moved it over a half a ring. And I So I'm going to move it over where the white ring is completely off the sand. So I'm going to bring a katana and an extra mile. And if everything goes right, those are the only two things I'm going to need. Here we go. This is a very risky shot. These max overpower hook shots are risky, especially when you're hitting over water. If you're doing a max overpower hook shot and you're hitting out into an area or there's sand or whatever where, you know, if you miss it and you end up in the rough or the sand, it's not the end of the world. You know, those shots are, you got to weigh the risk versus reward. But this hole here, if this shot doesn't go, it more than likely will end up in the drink. And so the risk versus reward here is that you've got to make this shot. And the katana is helping because it has three side spin. I wish they'd had a four side spin ball. This this could actually. I'm surprised that they haven't. You know, they got four power and five power balls. I'm surprised that they haven't come out with a, with a ball that's got six wind or six side spin or five side spin, three side spin, four. Now, you laid up. That is the worst possible thing you could do is to lay up and end up in the rough. You laid up. Okay, so we're going to do max of everything. I'm going to try and balance this out. I, the side spin here is super important. So I'm putting on five. I'm going to come out into this area right here with my white ring. I'm going to put a little of my white ring in the sand. I'm going to take the wind out. And go for it. And I got all of that, every single bit of it. Now it's all about whether it, nope, that's the, I'm going in the drink bounce. So you can see where I was at. So I need to move out. Now I have no choice here but to go for that. I can't go, <laughs> oops. I have no choice but to go for it again and hope that I can get it on this time in order to get up there to get a birdie. So I've got to hit what would have been the eagle by making it this time, but it's really important that I practice this shot and get this shot down. So, I just need to commit to moving my entire white ring off of that sand. I'm just barely off. Let's try this again. Let's be completely off. 
And let's take the wind out. That's about a ring and a half. And let's try this again. And I got all of that one. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Could have taken a little bit of the top spin off on that. That was a nice trajectory. It was actually, see, that's the deal. Is that trajectory right there? I'll go back and look at that. Uh, I'm going to go back to Golf Clash Notebook when this hole's over and look at the trajectory there where that landed. That's what's so mystifying about this. This hole, I've done this max overpower hook shot in several tournaments and had really good success with it. But that is the, there's such a fine line out there. Let's see if I can get this one in. Let's see if I can get the ball guy to engage. Nope. This is a brand new Spitfire, so it, when it gets to level two, it gets that last little, or that little teeny bit of backspin, and that little teeny back, bit of backspin is super important on this club. And it's very effective. This club hits so high in the air that it doesn't tend to roll forward like a lot of clubs. Hitting it perfect. Get myself a shot. <laughs> and hit the flagpole. <laughs> That's where that little teeny bit of backspin, even though you look at a Spitfire when you get it to level two and it gets that little bit of backspin, and you go, that's nothing. That's not worth that little bit of backspin on a, on a Spitfire. A Spitfire hits so high in the air that that little teeny bit of backspin, the, the Spitfire hits so high in the air that that little teeny bit will, will almost bring it to a stop. But it hits so high in the air, it doesn't roll forward a lot. Like a lot of clubs, as they get farther out, these, you know, it, it bounces forward. A Spitfire hits so high in the air, it hits, and it, it spends more of its energy going up than it does going out. So on this hole with my white ring completely off of the sand, pulling the wind out. So t the wind was going in a forward direction in this direction, and then taking that wind out. I landed out in this area and my trajectory took me like this and I went past the hole. So being with part of my white ring on the inside, I actually clipped the rough over here. There's that big of a swing. And I want, I want to hit right here because if you hit right here, you come at it more in this direction. So, and I definitely don't think I need to put on that much top spin. If I hit the ball right where the top spins out, I'm gonna keep going for this shot. I'm gonna work those. I'm gonna work that so that I can get this number right. I need to start looking at, and I'll go back and watch the video before I go to the next hole on where, when I'm at rest back here, where am I at when I'm at rest? Because I may be able to tighten that line up a little bit better. All right, that was hole number five. So I'm still practicing, <laughs> but I will have enough to get into the weekend round here. Um, so that was hole number five of the Glen Monarch Nine Hole Cup. Thanks for watching.